Hello Techies. In this session, we will learn few concepts about work queues. First one, we will learn what is work queue. Second one, benefits of the work queue. Third, prerequisites for the work queues. Fourth, how to create work queue using Power Automate. And fifth one, how to add work items to the work queue from Power Automate. All right. First, we will learn what is work queue. In Microsoft Power Automate, a work queue is a centralized hub that stores process relevant data and manage a list of work items that need to be completed. Work queue are highly versatile tool for managing workloads more effectively and ensuring that important work is completed on time, regardless of the complexity of the processor or the size of the automation they are being used for. For an example, as a part of supply chain process, thousands of transactions has to be processed every day. Process completion is based on the strict SLA and has to be complete by 11 p.m. since the automation outcome is used as the input to another process. To confirm with the SLA, automation needs to be built that First one, push transactions to a centrally managed and monitored work queue. Second one, process transactions concurrently across a dedicated machine groups of 20 machines. In such cases where automation is enabled to process a particular transaction within the SLA, users are notified to have the transaction process manually instead. Work queues are incredibly powerful and help in decouple complex process and automations by allowing them to communicate asynchronously. These work queues allows each part of process to operate independently and exchange prioritized inputs and outputs. All right, now we'll see what are the benefits that we have with work queue. First benefit is that increased efficiency and scalability. Work queues can increase the efficiency and throughput of an automation process by helping to ensure timely and resilient completion of work. They can also help decouple parts of our automation so that we can scale them independently. Second one, better resource utilization. By using work queues, we could improve robot utilization and optimize the number of robots need to complete the work. Third one, Consistent prioritization. Work use can help our prioritize work items with the highest priority items being completed first. Regardless of whether they have been processed by digital workers, human workers, or through integrations. Next one, centralized monitoring. Work use provide human in the loop monitoring experiences that allow fusion teams of business users and IT professionals to work hand in hand to remediate work queue processing expectations. Now we'll see the prerequisites for the work queues. To use work queues in Power Automate, we require these are the prerequisites. First one, premium Power Automate license is required to create work items. And also we required environment maker role or else or the other roles that include access to work queue tables. These are the prerequisites to create work queues or to modify the work queues or to add work queue items to the work queues. Now, at the fourth concept, we will learn how to create work queue using Power Automate. To create a work queue, let me switch to make.powerautomate.com or Power Automate, and then I'm going to sign in with my credential. Once we have logged in into the make.powerautomate.com, on the left hand side, we'll find work queues. If you don't find work queues, you will find in more. Just go ahead and click on the more. There you will find work queues over there. I have already pinned this work queue item on my left hand side menu. And I'm going to click on work queues to create a new work queue. Once you click on the work queue item, there you can see on the right hand side, you will find the work queues to create my first work queue. Use work queues to store, prioritize, distribute, and process our work items. Now. To create a new work queue, I'm going to click on new work queue. There you can see on the right hand side, we will find a panel that is new work queue. I'm going to give the name as product sales 
work you next one is the description which is optional i'm going to give it as product sales and then there you can see the another parameter is the work queue key this is the work queue key is optional whenever you are going to provide the value must be unique within the queue if you are going to leave it as empty in that case a unique value automatically provided by the system so that right now i'm not going to provide any work queue item there you can see another one set default item expiration this is also optional if you are going to set a default item as expiration then in that case it will ask for the item to expire how many days that the particular item which we are going to create in the work queue will expire there you can see i can give one day or minutes hours months and quarters i'm going to give it as optional and then i'm going to disable this one now the schema type you can see over here this is also an optional where we are having json and xsd format this is the schema type of the work item as the input for to validate to ensure that the input data confirms that the defined schema is there or not i'm going to give it as none right now and then i'm going to click on create there you can see a new work queue with the name of product sales work queue has been created successfully and what is the description the description is product sales now if you look into the details of the work queue the process status is active and created on so and so date who is the owner and when it has been modified and the items expires after whenever you are going to add an item to this work queue when it will get expired and what is the schema has been defined right now these are all the details which we are having for, for the work queue now if you want to edit the work queue then you can go ahead and you can click on edit let me click on edit to see what are the details that we have for the work queue there you can see you will get the work queue name description and work queue key it's automatically has been generated and set default item expiration if you want to set it you can set the default item expiration after one day or after one hour you can define the default time for the item expiration and the schema type you can get it over here which is not able to edit right now once it has been created once the work queue has been created you cannot modify the schema over here all right now let me click on cancel now to change the process state how can i go ahead and change the status by clicking on change queue status let me click on that there you can see i'm having three types of status for the work queue one is active another one is pass another one is stop these are the three statuses which, which we are having for the work queue all right now if you want to manage the access for this work item you can go and you can use it manage access now if you want to delete the work queue in that case you are going to use delete option which we are having on the top side all right till now we have seen how to create a work queue now if i want to add the items to the work queue how can i go ahead and add work items to the work queue there you can see i am having plus icon i am going to click on new and there you can see on the right hand side you can get new work queue item panel work queue item is a collection of documents that require processing every work queue item has users assigned to it who are responsible to monitoring the queue and to process those documents the user who has assigned to a queue can complete any of the task in the queue all right on the right hand side you can see new work queue item i'm going to give the name of this work queue item as w q i 1 nothing but work queue item 1 i am going to give it as the name and there you can see the second parameter is the status there are two statuses available for this one one is queued another one on hold i am going to select queued and there you can see once this new work queue item has been created there are multiple statuses available for processing it first one there you can see i am having queued processing process on hold expired and processing timeout along with that you will get the exception such as generic exception it exception and business exception these are all the different statuses which we are having for the work queue item by status wise right now if you see the third parameter which is the priority we are having three priorities first one is normal another one is low another one is high based on our requirement we can go ahead and we can 
prioritize our work queue item. As of now, I'm going to give it as normal. Another parameter you are having unique ID or reference ID. This is the value that must be unique within the queue. If you're going to leave it as empty, in that case, unique value will be automatically provided. Now, the fourth parameter you can see over here, expiration date, when this work queue item getting expired. So by default, it will be disabled. If you want to expire, if you want to set the expiry date, in that case, we are going to enable it. And then you are going to set the time for this expiration for this new work queue item. Right now, I'm going to disable it. Now, the another parameter I'm having input. Over here, we'll provide in JSON format or XST format. The best one is that JSON format. Why JSON? JSON or JavaScript object notation is a lightweight text-based data interchange format that follows JavaScript object syntax. JSON format is easy to understand and read compared to other formats and delivers faster data in interchange. In that case, I'm going to provide input format over here. Now, to make you understand, I'm going to provide a input over here, such as I'm going to start with curly braces. And there you can see I'm having product ID that is PR001. And the product name, I'm going to give it as laptop. And the third one, I'm going to give it as product price, which is one lakh rupees. And the process notes, I'm going to give it as blank. And then I'm going to create a new work item, a new work queue item. Let's click on create. There you can see a new work queue item has created successfully inside my work queue, that is product sales work queue. There you can see I'm having the name as work queue item one and the NQR time, that is September 3rd, and the status, which is in queued. And the priority is normal. And the input you can see over here, which is in JSON format. And there you can see the status types over here, different status types which we are having it. This is how we are going to create a work queue item manually or adding a work queue item manually to the work queues. All right. I hope you understand what is work queue, what are the benefits of the work queue. And also we have seen the prerequisites to create the work queues. And also we have seen how to create a work queue using Power Automate or make.powerautomate.com. And also we have seen how to add items to the work queue from the Power Automate portal as part of this tutorial.